Hey guys, my name is Kenyatta and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I prep my hair for protective styling. I'm going to be using, okay, I was quite confused <laughs> with this launch, but I'm going to be using the, I don't know whether to call it new or not, but it's the Curls Daughter Cocoa Cream Collection. So I could have sworn that I saw this collection previously, but I think I understand after a little research, I think certain items like the collection has already been there. Certain items like the shampoo and the conditioner were already available because the shampoo and the conditioner won an award. So I was like, it, how is this a new launch? So I'm like lost. But I think like some of the products, like not the collection itself, but like the collection added new products, you know, because I was confused. Okay, we are going to be using, okay, guys. This is obviously, you know, wash day. So just gotta bear with me a little bit because the, <laughs> the hair is like, what? This is still last week's wash and go. So this is where we're at. This is what we're gonna be starting with. But we're um, gonna be using a Curls Daughter Cocoa Cream Curl Quenching Shampoo. Um, it's bonus size, it has 40% more love. When I was looking for this, it seemed like this was the only packaging. I didn't see like a regular size. So it's actually pretty good. And then, the Cocoa Cream Curl Quenching Conditioner. The Curl Perfecting Water Cocoa Mist. And the Curl Quenching Deep Moisture Mask. So honestly, what got my attention about the, I had never used, like I said, I, I'm not 100% sure, you know, leave it down in the comments if you know exactly the details behind this launch, but um, I was interested in the collection because it just kept talking about moisture, like moisture, curl quenching, just like, I think it's even for, yeah, these products are made for very dry, curly to coily hair, has no silicones, paraben, mineral oil, artificial colors, it's made with coconut, mango, and maru, maru, I don't know. I don't know what that is. There's always some type of ingredient in there that I don't know how to pronounce and I have no idea what it is. But I'll look it up and like put it on the screen just for me and you so we know what we're putting in our hair. But yes, I was really interested in this just because of all the the moisture qualities. Like it's for very dry, brittle hair. And as you can see, like that is like what we're starting with. So I'm super excited to use this line to like get the moisture back in there. Super excited. So... Um, if you're interested, not only in the collection, but what I do to prep my hair for protective styling, then just keep watching. Yeah, so before we go in with the shampoo, I wanna put like oil on my scalp. That's like, that's not like a normal step for me. That's not normally what I do when I'm um, just doing a, like a normal wash and go. But like with protective styling, your scalp is just, you know, it just goes through a lot. So I just wanna go ahead and give it like a little bit a little bit of love like before it has to deal with all this tension and everything like that. So no real science to this. I'm literally just putting like oil to my scalp. And also, by the way, like I mentioned it in every video, but still, this is just olive oil. So that's what we're putting on the scalp right now. Okay, so before we get into like the next step, which is the shampoo, um, just to talk a little bit about the shampoo. It is an intense moisture system and it instantly boosts softness. It's a cream based shampoo. So I'm like super excited about that to see like how that works with my hair. Like I said, we just, we need the moisture back. So let's go ahead and shampoo.
Hey guys, I'm sitting down, brought you guys in a little closer. Standing over the sink to shampoo and wash your hair while you're pregnant is not for the week. So now I'm like, let me let me sit down for the rest of the routine because your girl's a little tired. Um, I forgot to mention earlier when I was like talking about the products, um, it has nothing to do with the products, but it's more so about, I've been getting like a lot of questions about unexpectedly, <laughs> it just seems kind of random, but I've been getting a lot of questions about like the shirts like the graphic t-shirts that I wear in my video. So I'm just gonna start including that in the video for those who are interested. So this shirt, The Simpsons, I got this from Myers. So there's that if you're interested. Anyways, okay, so I really think like when it comes to shampoo, especially if you're like right now how I'm trying an entire product line, it just sets the tone. Like if the shampoo is bomb, it's kind of like in your mind, you're like, okay, you're excited for like the rest of the products. Sometimes lately I've been having issues with, I don't know if shampoos are just be seeming like they're not like getting the job done. Like you're not sure what's going on. Like when I put this on my hair, as you saw from the footage, which I did that on my own. Normally I have Jermaine to help me. I haven't looked back at the footage, but hopefully, you know, it was okay. So I try to set up the camera. I'm trying to still figure that out. But yeah, the shampoo, like immediately like, when it was activated with the water, it was starting to set up. Like I was able to like rake through some of the tangles. I don't try to do a lot of that when I shampoo because I feel like that's not what shampoo's for. It's to care for your scalp and get your hair clean. So, so I was able to do so. Like I was able to focus on my scalp, make sure my hair is free of buildups and things like that since we're about to go into a protective style. So I really did like the shampoo, so that's good. You know, excited for like the rest of the products. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and start working with the conditioner. Um, it, the whole entire line pretty much talks about how that is supposed to instantly um, boost the softness of your hair. Like that's what most of them say based on their like moisture that's in the product. So this is what we're working. Y'all know I'm always fighting with this thing, but it's okay. And now we like at eye level, so I'm really about to be like beating myself up with this. But yeah, this is what my hair looks like after um, using that shampoo, which I mean, we are really starting off with a good base. I need to take these rings off. I have product all in them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up into four sections. I'm literally always fighting to get products open. Definitely creamy, water-based, um, easy to work with type of conditioner. It's not like super thick. It comes out of this uh, pump very generously. So we really not gonna have to fight with my hair or anything like that using this. lines that are for like dry damaged um, hair honestly are my favorite type of product lines just because it just you know that like your hair is going to be hydrated and moisturized once you get finished I think that's why I was so excited to use this product line because it was like this is right up my alley I love these type of products
guys, the conditioner is completely applied. I'm just going to add a little more to the ends. We are going to go wash this out so that we can deep condition. But I really like this product. I like the shampoo, but the conditioner is definitely like a favorite. Um, I didn't use too much of it, but because of the packaging, the color of the packaging, you can't really see um, how much I use because it's the same color as the product. Okay. It's like a really good consistency versus product packaging balance, if it makes sense. Like you don't really struggle to get this out at all. Like the pump, the product is just, it just made like detangling and conditioning your hair really easy. We will go ahead and wash this out and then we will move on to my favorite step of wash day. Okay, where's, okay, <laughs> where's the deep conditioner? Um, okay, so we washed out the, what did we wash out? We washed out the conditioner and now we're gonna now we're gonna move on to the curl quenching deep moisture mask. So it is it is an instant intense moisture system. So I don't know, just the name of this, you know. The curl quenching deep moisture mask just screams that it's just gonna make your hair feel like butter. But this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and section off so we can get into this deep conditioner. Like what makes me love like a deep conditioner is like when I work it in, it like defines and like clumps my hair together. That's when I know like I really like a deep conditioner. So it's hard to see with my like black hair up against a black t-shirt. So I try to keep, that's why I keep trying to get closer. But yeah. Yeah, and then I'm just going to do this to the remaining three sections. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to turn on some music and you guys can watch me deep condition. Because the music is saving your girl in this wash day today. Because the energy is just not there. conditioner is applied to all the sections like I know a lot of people like skip deep conditioning but I feel like when you're doing a protective style like if you're the type of person like when you're doing your hair um if you're the type of person like each week like you don't deep condition I think it's important at least for 
like right before you do a protective style to go ahead and deep condition. Like you just need to make sure like your hair before you put it up and like braids and all this different stuff, it just receives a little bit of TLC because your hair is gonna be, you know, ghost for a few months, just like in hiding. So that's why I like, I make sure to shampoo and like take care of my scalp. Cause normally like a wash day routine for me does not include shampooing cause it's just once a month. But because like, I'm just trying to make sure that my hair is clean, moisturized um, before I do a protective hairstyle. So as always, a little bit up top and a little bit to the ends. We're gonna put this up in a bun and then we're gonna let it sit for an hour and then we'll come back. I feel like everything thus far is pretty typical for me. Like this is what I do each week anyway. Like I said, other than like the scalp and shampooing, but like I style my hair differently before protective styling. So that's where we're gonna see like after the deep condition. Hey guys, okay, I'm back. Um, I let the deep conditioner sit for an hour, so now we're on to the last part of the video, and that is to style. Um, I really wanted a leave-in conditioner for this line because the benefits of the line, they just keep talking about moisture and hydration. I think it would have really been dope to see like a leave-in conditioner to have those same type of um, properties just to kind of like prep your hair for styling, but I went ahead and just got, cause I, I feel like from what I saw in the store, there was a, a cream, a gel, and then this um, curl perfecting water cocoa mist. So in my head, I'm using this as a leave-in conditioner. <laughs> like really it's, it's like a curl refresher or like a, um, like an activator because it says, Spray evenly on wet or dry hair to activate or reactivate your curls or coils. Use your fingers to reshape and scrunch curls into place. So it's basically like a refresher or like I said, to activate your curls. So in this case, we're just using it to put a little moisture in the hair um, before protective styling. So this is what my hair looks like after deep conditioning. Like, that's just, look at this. This is just very moisturized and hydrated, defined. Like, I just have nothing but positive things to say about this, which I figured that's kind of how I already felt about it going into it, just because it kept talking about moisture. I was like, it's gonna be bomb. Okay, so now that the hair is sectioned off into four sections, I'm actually gonna be using a detangling brush as well. Um, I got these off of Amazon. I still don't know how I completely feel about them yet because I haven't really been using them. I used it like once because if you don't know, I love to finger detangle. Like, I don't know, I just, I think I like to feel it. Like to feel my hair and feel uh, my, like, I don't know. I just like using my fingers to get the tangles out. I don't know. And sometimes I just feel like with my tight curl pattern, sometimes like detangling brushes be giving me anxiety. So we are going to use one in this video just because I really want to make sure that I'm like getting out the tangles and that my hair is like, um, yeah, <laughs> I just want to make sure that I'm like getting out the tangles and just my hair is super like detangled. So we'll be going in with the, what is this? <laughs> we'll be going in with the mist. I don't know, the way this packaging and stuff, you would really think that this was like some type of um, mousse. Like normally this is what like mousse comes in. Like normally this is like the packaging for mousse products. Like I don't know. Okay, yeah. So I really don't have anything like negative to say about the line. I think it's, it's really good products and it does what it says it's going to do basically 
Um, I had to, the only negative thing for me, like, I don't know, like for whoever else has bought these products, but they were really hard to find. Like I literally had to go to a different store for like every product. I couldn't go anywhere and then just get everything that I was looking for. Like some Walmarts didn't have it at all. Like I eventually went to Target to get the shampoo and conditioner. I found the mist at Walmart. And then this was at, the mask was at a beauty supply store. And the beauty supply store, for whatever reason, the product was higher. <laughs> like it was like $5 more than what it would have been if like Walmart or Target had it. So that's the only thing. Like y'all know, I hate when I have to like go on a scavenger hunt for products, especially when they're being like heavily promoted. Like when you see them everywhere, you just assume like it's just gonna be easy to find. So by the way, like I said, the packaging looks like a mousse, but like it has the spray nozzle. Definitely sprays out pretty concentrated. So I'm gonna just separate my hair into like smaller sections just to really like work in the product. That way I can um, use the detangling brush. I'm gonna go in with a little more product. putting my hair into twist now I know you're like what is going on <laughs> what is going on here guys the end result of this video is not the protective style this video is just about prepping my hair you have to stay tuned for part two to actually see the protective style <laughs> because girl I would never just put on like a spray and then twist up my hair because it would be pretty much waste of time like the way my pattern is and things like that I need to be like OD I need to like go in with the products to just make sure that you know something like this that's just something like this that's just so lightweight this is really just so I can have something in my hair like some type of moisture while it sits overnight because honestly like if I was doing this normally how I review like a product line um like these type of products are not my favorite because I just never know what's going on with them. I never know if like, like my hair is actually getting a benefit from the product. Like I can just never tell what's going on with sprays. So I would never just like use this by itself as a styling product ever. Like if a line has this, a leave-in conditioner, like some type of styler, like I wouldn't even gravitate to this mist because I just feel like there's other products that can help you like retain moisture and put moisture back in your hair before you style, i.e. a leave-in conditioner. Like I would have really like for, even for this, I would have liked a leave-in conditioner. All right guys, so, you know, I'm doing this to the rest of my hair. I'm just gonna spray and twist it up.
Okay guys, so I finished twisting up my hair. Um, so this concludes me prepping my hair for protective styling. Um, once again, this is not the protective style. This is just the prep for the style. If you wanna see the protective style, make sure you stay tuned for part two to this video. I'm gonna go ahead and conclude it here. I really did enjoy these products. I feel like they're perfect for like going into a protective style because they just put all the moisture back in your hair and it's just like, I don't know. I feel zen, I feel moisturized, like, yeah, I'm loving it. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. Make sure if you did to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure if you're not to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.